Today, I will talk about non-yielding schedulers, and uh, this is a concept inside SQL Server. So a thread is the lowest unit of execution. It is the thread that actually does the job. And a thread runs on something called as a scheduler. And this job of scheduling the thread on the scheduler is performed by a component called SQL Server Operating System. Now, talking about SQL OS and the entire scheduling mechanism is obviously out of context of this uh, video. But let me briefly explain uh, some of these uh, concepts and then I'll talk about uh, what a non-yielding scheduler really means. So as I uh, talked about thread, now what exactly is a scheduler? Uh, SQL Server will allocate one scheduler for each CPU core. So think about uh, your hardware, your server, if it has uh, 32 cores, which means 32 logical uh, CPUs, when SQL Server boots up, SQL OS, which is a mini operating system inside SQL Server, it will allocate one scheduler for each um, CPU core which means you will have 32 schedulers. Now, uh, when user request comes in, uh, it is assigned to a thread and the thread will be executed on a scheduler. Now, when the thread is uh, doing the job, it is in the running state. And while it is running, it might be uh, asking for a lot of different types of resources. When it is waiting for resources, it goes into suspended state. And sometimes when it will uh, have the resources, but the CPU is not available, which means the scheduler is not available, it will be waiting in a runnable queue and the status of the thread will be runnable. So if you see a thread in its life cycle is moving from running state to the waiting state, which is the suspended state, and then uh, from waiting maybe back to the runnable queue, waiting for its turn uh, on the scheduler. So running, uh, suspended and then back to runnable. This is the kind of cycle, uh, cycle a thread has to uh, go through uh, for, uh, for its complete uh, lifetime. Now, a thread is by default assigned a 4 millisecond uh, quantum, which means a thread is supposed to run uh, for 4 milliseconds and then voluntarily leave the uh, CPU uh, or the scheduler and go back into the runnable queue if its job is still not uh, done. Now, this is uh, part of a much larger concept called cooperative multitasking. Now, SQL Server is, of course, multi-threaded and a multitasking system. And with this mechanism of cooperative multitasking, it ensures that multiple threads are running uh, and they, they get their own justified time on the scheduler. Now, your server might have uh, multiple cores. Uh, it, it might have 32 cores, 64, 96 cores, and even 128 cores, and maybe even bigger servers with more than 200 cores. But the number of threads can be much larger. You may have hundreds of threads. Now, with this mechanism of cooperative multitasking, the user gets a feeling that my all my threads and all my user requests are running because the the scheduler at the SQL OS will actually uh, schedule the threads and then move them back to the runnable queue and it does it ex so extremely fast that you get a feeling that all my threads are running in uh, parallel. So the four millisecond quantum is hard coded and that's the default assigned by the SQL operating system. Now sometimes what might happen inside SQL Server due to some reasons, a uh, scheduler becomes non-yielding, which means the owner of the scheduler is not yielding a particular thread and the thread is continuously running on that scheduler and it's stalling all of the threads that are waiting in the queue. This behavior is called as non-yielding scheduler. And if a scheduler is not yielding for more than 60 seconds, then uh, SQL Server is going to log this information in the error log and you can uh, uh, pull up the error log and you can read more about this um, and try to troubleshoot it. And also what happens is a dump is uh, created in a mini dump rather is created in the log folder. So if you're expert enough, you can even uh, troubleshoot uh, this uh, uh, dump. Uh, so this is the concept of non yielding scheduler, the complete uh, scheduling mechanism um, the worker management, the thread management is a, a much larger concept. But uh, today I just wanted to uh, very quickly and very briefly explain this concept of what is a non-yielding scheduler. Hope this video was uh, useful and if you learned something new, uh, do share it with your friends and colleagues. Do subscribe to the YouTube ch uh, channel and uh, talk to you soon uh, uh, with another concept in, on SQLShigra.com. Thanks.